Hi, it's time for another video from my dream car news. Start dreaming. Enjoy. In this our second feature on the fabulous McLaren 765LT, McLaren's design director, Rob Melville, explains the way design helps engineering efficiency. Hi, I'm Rob Melville, I'm the design director from McLaren Automotive and I'm here today to tell you a bit more about our all new 765LT. Now what does LT mean? Well, LT stands for lightweight, advanced aerodynamics and increased power, all to deliver the ultimate engagement regards driving experience. Now let's talk about some of the key features. First of all, proportions. Well, we've extended the front overhang. Why did we do this? To be able to increase the depth of the front splitter. This means we can generate more downforce. Other key forms here you see below the hammer headline have this very full curved volume. This allows us to keep the air that hits the front of the car energized whilst guiding it into the low temperature radiators which sit just below the headlamps. Then as we move outboard, the familiar eye sockets from the 720 still keeping that dual function of taking air in as part of the headlight system to feed the top part of the radiator. And then outboard on the front splitter we have these fences. Now they help generate a bit of downforce, but the key thing here is to align the airflow down the side of the car. As we move down to the side, another note or feature of note are the option, optional louvers. Now these allow us to exit the high pressure that builds up inside the wheel well, out through the top, overall minimizing the impact of that turbulent air. And then as we move to the side, that beautiful deep sculpture of the twin skin doors you saw on the 720, course that's carried through to the 765 LT. That means we're able to take that turbulent air and tuck it into the body side. Really very efficient, beautiful design. Again another fence here from the front helping to align the air down the body side. And where we have to feed a huge amount of air into the side radiators that sit behind this panel, most of that air is fed in through this very deep door duct. But we further supplement that by increasing the size of the lower intake. That means with the increase in power, we can scoop up more of that air flowing down the side and guide it straight where we need it. And to finish the story of the air, air flow on the side, we need to move to the rear corner where we have these floating blades. Now, the purpose of these floating blades is to detach the air in the corner. We do that by creating a very sharp trailing edge to the panel. This optimizes the overall air flow around the car. And now let's move up to the rear deck. Glass is heavy. So on the rear here, we've changed the rear screen and the glazing on the C pillar area to polycarbonate. That means it's lighter. We're also actually able to get some form in there. So multiple benefits. But the main thing here was to protect that incredible 360 degree field of view you have when you sat inside the car to really generate that feeling of being inside a jet fighter's cockpit. And when you see these beautiful volumes as they flow down into the rear here, Everything shrink wrapped around that engineering package. Laser cut mesh giving superb visibility into the engine. And then here, this full width, very aggressive active rear wing and air brake. Trailing edge of the body defined by this very characterful line, which is low in the middle and steps up in the outboard areas. The reason it does that, it allows us to generate more downforce through here. And at the same time, we step it forwards and down to allow for fantastic rear view visibility and also then the heat soak from the exhaust system. And then the exhaust themselves, well, quad exhaust system delivers both, obviously, an incredible amount of visual drama, but it also means we deliver the power, and because it's made out of titanium, it's an incredibly light solution. Outboard of that, we have the ultra-slim LED light blades, surrounded by laser-cut mesh, letting us to exit all the hot air from the engine bay. And then finally, very race-inspired rear diffuser, very purposeful, simple, but beautiful. That's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my dream car news now. Spread the word. Keep dreaming.